Welcome to the intramural sports captain's meeting for the sport of ultimate frisbee. Following the PowerPoint, you will be required to complete a quiz in order for your team to complete the pre-registration process. It is your job as the team captain to relay this information to your teammates. All participants are responsible for the rules and intramural sports policies posted on IM leagues on the left-hand side toolbar. Ignorance of the rules is not an excuse for their violation. The Office of Competitive Sports is located in room 1025 at the Natatorium. You can reach us by phone at 608-262-8258. You can also reach us via email at imsports at recsports.wis.edu. The weather hotline will be updated in, for outdoor sports and inclement weather. The weather hotline phone number is 608 262-4756. Please connect with us via social media. In case of inclement weather, call the Rec Sports hotline at 262-4756 for cancellation information. All efforts will be made to announce cancellations by 3 p.m. on weekdays. Regular season games are only rescheduled in extreme circumstances. Playoff games canceled due to inclement weather will be rescheduled and most likely pushed to the following day, subsequently pushing all other games in that bracket back a day. Please check IM Leagues for scheduled revisions. Teams wishing to cancel a game must have their team captain or co-captain email the intramural sports office. Administrative staff at imsports at recsports.wisc.edu by 12 p.m. day of the contest with their name, team name, league of play, intent to cancel. Once a cancellation is granted, the request cannot be overturned. Cancellations made after 12 p.m. the day of the contest will result in the team being charged the $25 default fee. Phone cancellations will no longer be accepted by the intramural sports office. A default occurs if less than the minimum number of required players of a team have checked in with a supervisor at the scheduled location within 10 minutes of the scheduled time of the contest. The supervisor will declare the contest a default. A default carries a $25 fee which can be paid online using your IM League account. Eligibility. In order to participate in intramural sports, one of the following criteria must be met. All fee-paying students are eligible to participate. Faculty and staff members must have a valid rec sports membership. All rec sports participants must activate their account on IM Leagues prior to playing in an intramural sports game. Participants may only compete on one single gender team and one co-rec team. Participants are not allowed to play on two single gender teams or two co-rec teams. Captains are responsible for ensuring the accuracy of their team's roster before playoffs begin. Rosters may be viewed at any time on IM Leagues. Players may be added to their roster anytime online at IM Leagues or the game site provided they are eligible to meet all of the requirements. Any team that uses, uses an ineligible player during the regular season will forfeit that game. Any team that uses an ineligible player during the playoffs will forfeit the game and be immediately dropped from, from further competition. All participants must have a valid UW ID card or Rec Sports membership card that swipes into the fusion. If a participant forgets their UW ID card, they can still gain access by using a courtesy pass as long as they have another valid photo ID or have a picture in Fusion. Valid photo IDs include a photo in Fusion's profile, driver's license, passport, or any government issued photo ID. Courtesy passes may be used up to six times per semester for participants. This includes entries into the facilities. Numbers are reset at the beginning of every semester. The 
following chart is a breakdown of sportsmanship ratings. Sportsmanship ratings are affected by teams, participants, and spectators' conducts before, during, and after a contest. All teams that achieved a 4.0 higher sportsmanship rating have less than two forfeits, cancellations, defaults, or any combination of the aforementioned achieve a regular season record of 500 or better will automatically be entered into playoffs. Others will advance if not given the opportunity to, opportunity to play 50% or more of their regularly scheduled games, for example, games canceled due to rain, not including defaults and cancellations, will be placed into the playoffs. The day following the end of the regular season, a blank bracket will be posted in the morning. Teams will be ranked by their winning percentage with a tiebreaker being accumulated sportsmanship points. Further ties will be broken randomly by the system. Starting at 5 p.m., teams will select their position on the bracket based on their rank. Note, focus on your team's best days, times to play throughout the playoffs more than the competition level. If a qualifying team misses their designated slot time, they can jump in the order where it stands and select at that time. Qualifying teams that fail to select their spot in the draft prior to its conclusion will randomly be assigned to an open spot by the league coordinator. Regular season games will not be rescheduled. Playoff games will only be rescheduled due to conflict with other intramural sports activities and academic conflicts, class, lab, and exams that result in a team not having the minimum number required to start a game. Teams wishing to reschedule a game must submit a reschedule request form located on the Rec Sports websites under the Intramural Sports tab by 12 p.m. the business day prior to the game. Proof of conflicts must be uploaded into the form located on the website. Protest. If a team feels an Intramural Sports staff member has enforced a rule or policy incorrectly, they must call a timeout immediately following the ruling in question. The intramural sports supervisor will then make a decision regarding the correct ruling and how to proceed. If the intramural sports supervisor is unable to make a decision, the game will be played under protest and the intramural sports administrative staff will make a decision the following business day. Only rule interpretation and player eligibility can be protested. Note, the judgment of an official may not be protested. The competitive sports staff reserves the right to eject any individual, team, or spectator who interrupts the flow of game in any manner. Players may be ejected before, during, or after any contest and by any rec sports staff member. To regain eligibility, the ejected person must complete each of the following. Prepare a written statement detailing the events surrounding the incident. Include outline of events surrounding ejection, actions that led to the ejection, assurance that the behavior will not occur again, suggested for, suggestion for an appropriate disciplinary action, and how the behavior will be avoided in the future. This statement should be sent to the coordinator of competitive sports. Next, you must schedule an appointment to meet with the coordinator of competitive sports. Please check out the intramural handbook for further information. The players and substitutions. A game shall be played by two teams, each consisting of not more than seven players. Each team must have a minimum of four players present to begin a game. If a team does not have four players present within the 10-minute grace period, the game will be declared a default. In co-rec games, the number of men and women on the field shall not differ by more than two. Players may substitute after a score, halftime, timeout, or to replace an injured player. Player equipment. A player shall not wear anything that may be dangerous to him or herself or another player. This includes jewelry, watches, metal cleats, caps, and bandanas. Shoes must be worn. No sandals, five-finger shoes, boots, or bare feet are permitted.
All teams are required to provide matching color team jerseys in the color the captain chose during pre-registration. Players will not be allowed to participate without a matching color team shirt. The game. The game shall consist of two consecutive halves of 20 minutes each. The clock runs but may be stopped due to injury or delay of game by a player or team at the discretion of the official or intramural sports supervisor. The halftime interval shall not exceed five minutes. Overtime. If a game ends in a tie, there will be a flip of the disc. The overtime period shall be 10 minutes. If at the end of the overtime period the score is still tied, there shall be a reflip of the disc and the first team that scores wins. No game will end in a tie. If a team is ahead by 10 or more points with 5 minutes left in the second half or any time thereafter, the game will be declared a mercy rule. Self-officiated and offside. Players are responsible for their own foul and line calls. If a player disagrees with a foul call, the play is redone. Players resolve their own disputes, but if a protest occurs, the protesting team must call a timeout and contact the IM supervisor on duty to resolve the protest. The protest procedures listed in the intramural sports policies must be followed. There is no offside rule. Movement of the disc and scoring. The disc may be advanced in any direction by completing a pass to a teammate. Players may not run with the disc. A disc may not be handed from player to player. The person with the disc has 10 seconds to throw the disc. The defender guarding the thrower counts out the stall count. Each time the offense completes a pass in the defense's end zone, the offense scores one point. In order to be considered a score, the player's first point of contact with the ground must be completely in the end zone. After each score, the ends of the field are switched and the scoring te team throws off. Changes of possession and fouls. When a pass is not completed, for example, out of bounds, drop block, interception, the defense immediately takes possession of the disc and becomes the offense. No physical contact is allowed between players. Picks and screens are also prohibited. A foul occurs when contact is made. The player who has been fouled is the only person who can call the foul and must announce it out by calling foul. If the offensive player is fouled, possession remains with the offense. If the defensive player is fouled, possession changes after a check. The marker must restart the play by touching the disc in possession of the thrower. If the marker declines to mark, the thrower must put the disc on the ground and call in play. Violation. A violation occurs when a player violates a rule. For example, illegal guarding, traveling, strip, double team. Any player recognizing the violation may call out violation. The disc is brought back to the spot it was when the violation occurred. No change of possession occurs. This concludes the intramural sports ultimate frisbee captains meeting. The captains quiz found on IM leagues must be completed with a score of 80% or higher before the team can be created. Feel free to contact us at imsports at recsports.wisc.edu with your questions or feedback. Thank you and best of luck this season.